I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut, and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be one that I get a lot of questions about, something that we have actually haven't had a solution for ever before until now, and that is how do you get rid of Bermuda grass in St. Augustine grass? And then also we're going to show you how to get rid of Bermuda grass in your zoysia grass, and it comes from using a new chemical, a new herbicide, actually two mixed together. That's a new combination, and that's what will eliminate it. And as you can see, I've got some brown spots here, I got some dead spots. So let me tell you how I got to this result and what I did to get there. So this is my Floritam St. Augustine grass, and you can see throughout it's got Bermuda grass. And pretty much anybody that lives in Florida or Texas or anywhere else, you're gonna have some common or wild Bermuda that's invaded your St. Augustine grass. And frankly, they just don't look good together because the Bermuda has these thin, wispy blades and the St. Augustine has these fat, juicy blades. So together, they do not make a good turf stand. In the past, if you asked me, how do you get rid of this? I would have told you that you had three ways to do it. One, you could just live with it, which is what most people do. Just so you know, most homeowners never notice that they have Bermuda in their St. Augustine. So you can just live with it. Number two, you could scrape everything up and resod, but the Bermuda will return within just a couple of years. Or the third was you could get Pro Vista St. Augustine grass, again, requiring a resod, an expensive one, but Pro Vista sod is glyphosate tolerant. So then you could use glyphosate, which is Roundup, and that will kill the uh, Bermuda in the St. Augustine because the St. Augustine was bred to be tolerant of that. So that's all kind of complicated. Now we have just a traditional type of herbicide instead that you can spray and it will kill the Bermuda and it will not harm the St. Augustine. And actually it's two herbicides that you mix together. Let's go look at them now. So this herbicide here, this is called Recognition. And actually this is just a little sample bottle. The active ingredient is trifloxulfuron sodium. Trifloxul on sodium. This is just a sample. This isn't even available in the market yet. It will be in a couple weeks. Lucky. I'll show you the label here so you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is the key ingredient and uh, the trifloxyl furon sodium is going to kill the Bermuda, but also what's in here is a product called a safener that makes this product safe for St. Augustine and Zoysia. It won't kill them. That's the safener. Kind of interesting. If you click below, I did a blog post. So I'll give you a lot more details on that, what that all means. But that's the first one. You put that one in, and this is the new one. And then the second one is you also mix in this Fusilade 2. This has been around for a while. This is another herbicide. You cannot use this on St. Augustine. Never use this on St. Augustine by itself. But when you combine it with the Recognition, which has the safener in there, the safener that's in here that safens this, makes this safe for St. Aug, it also safens the Fusilade. And the two of those together are a powerful uh, herbicide to kill Bermuda grass. And because you have the safener, it will not hurt your St. Augustine. So that's how we do it. So the Recognition rate is 0.85 grams per gallon per thousand square feet. And the Fusilade is 0.55 ounces per gallon per thousand square feet. I'm doing a three gallon mix here. So I need 2.6 total grams of the Recognition and 1.65 ounces of the Fusilade. I'm also adding one ounce per gallon of surfactant to give me a sticker. So my Palmetto St. Augustine grass here, this is where I sprayed. And this section that's right here, this is like 90% Bermuda grass in through here. And then the rest, I've got it kind of scattered throughout. Now you're gonna notice that the palmetto is a little yellow in here. It looks a little weak. It's yellow because we had a hurricane and we have nutrient deficiency in here. The, the hurricane rains just wash all the nutrient out and the palmetto is severely affected by that. That's why it turns yellow. And I'm in a furt band, I can't fertilize. So it's gonna stay yellow for a little while. Also probably a little bit of disease in here as well. Now one thing when you do spray this, uh, this product, these two products together, you will see some stunting of growth and I did see that. Don't let that scare you. As you can see, it does kill the Bermuda. As you can see, it's turning this purpley color. It'll eventually start to turn brown. And what you're seeing here is three weeks after application. It does take a good four weeks, though, to really see the final, and you can spray again at that four-week mark. Now, a couple of things to think about, and one that I didn't follow. When you read the label on the Recognition, it says not to mow for two days after you spray. And the reason you don't mow for two days is because you wanna let the chemical work its way down through the Bermuda grass. If you come in and mow too quick and you mow below where it's worked its way through, now you cut the chemical off and it can't keep going. So you gotta wait at least two days, but there's a kicker. The Fusilade tells you that you need to wait at least seven days. And in fact, Fusilade says you shouldn't mow seven days before your application and you shouldn't mow seven days after your application. So with Fusilade, you need a 14-day window 
in order to be following the label on there and I can tell you that is 100% impossible with this grass. My grass is growing way too fast right now so I was not able to wait seven days before and seven days after. I waited as many as I could which was three maybe four but Either way, I think I ended up cutting some of this off. So what I'm gonna tell you is probably it's gonna be better to do these applications in the spring before the Bermuda gets too thick. Because what's gonna happen is, as we go over winter, this Bermuda will recede. The St. Augustine starts to take back over in the springtime and it gets a little thicker. And then as the year comes on, the Bermuda starts to rage in and the St. Augustine fades. And here we are at the end of the year. So probably it would be best to spray this in spring before the Bermuda, when it's, it has to be actively growing, but before it gets too thick and too raged and too going. Because you're gonna see, we still have quite a bit of green in here in the Bermuda because it's just so thick and so dense that uh, it's just really difficult. So all, all in all to say, um, I got a blog post below. I will do some, some, um, some podcasting on this to tell you a little bit more, but it does work, but you, you really got to get the conditions right. And uh, I'm going to tell you the Bermuda is going to come back. So that's really going to be, is this worth it economically viably going forward? Because the Bermuda is for sure going to come back. So am I just going to have to keep blasting this off? I don't know. Last thing to think about is it will kill other weeds. We did get some broadleaf weeds that were controlled here, uh, so that's a nice side benefit. However, it says that it'll suppress torpedo grass and also signal grass, and I saw absolutely zero results on those two because I have those here as well. I saw zero results on those, but again, it's only been three weeks. So there's my initial testing on the mixture of the Recognition and the Fusil Aid 2. I hope you guys got a little something out of it. Leave me your questions below. We'll start a discussion and any of you that have any kind of, uh, that have had some results with this, let me know. We'll talk about it below and we'll, uh, we'll keep moving. But wait, there's more. All right, y'all, real quick, little wrap up to a wrap up. I just want to get this right. I want to be thorough. Seems like this video is taking forever. This is the Zoysia and you can see there's a lot of dead Bermuda here too. And so it works exactly the same. The Safener safens in the Zoysia, just like it does the St. Augustine same mix. I would have liked to have done a lot more testing over here. I don't know if you can tell, but the zoysia is very flooded. I have like massive flooding back there for the first time in a long time. So I can't even mow back there. So more on the zoysia later, but I just wanted to show you it does work in zoysia. So let's go now and look a little bit more, talk a little bit more about what I found in the St. Augustine. All right, now I know I've mentioned some of this before, but I want to go into a little bit more detail and I want to talk about the herbicide's effect on the St. Augustine because it does stress it, but it's not the kind of stress you think of. So like any of you that have used like blindside herbicide to spray your lawn, you know you're gonna get some burning, some singeing of the St. Augustine pretty much no matter what you do. This is not that kind of stress. There is absolutely no burning stress to any of the St. Augustine. However, some of the yellowing is from stress. Also the, the fact that it won't grow, that's the stress. So when you have St. Augustine that's already struggling just from summer and, and lack of nutrient and some disease and all of that, and then you automatically stunt the growth, which is what these weed killers do, they stunt the growth. It just looks terrible because it can't grow out. And so that's really the stress you're seeing here is stress from not being able to grow out of problems and repair itself like it wants to. So it's not burn, but it is stress. And I just wanted to kind of let you know, if you use this, your lawn may stop growing for a little while. You're saying, and it'll look bad if there was any areas that can't grow out. So it'll take a little bit of time, which brings me to the next point. You really want to apply some nitrogen with this. In fact, while you're spraying, it would be great to apply some foliar applied nitrogen, like 700 Green Effect. It's got a little bit of nitrogen and a little bit of of uh, iron in it that can absorb through the leaf tissue, you could spray that down right along with the weed controls that's on the label, and that will help some of this stop the yellowing. It'll help it to grow a little bit better because nitrogen pushes, it'll help the color. That is recommended as well as I wish I could apply some flagship at the same time to really push this, but I'm in a furt band for two more days. After two more days, the cuffs are off, I'm unleashed, and I'm gonna throw her down. All right, one last point. You can see it looks great, and when I say it looks great, it looks dead. But as you get down in there, you can still see a lot of green in the Bermuda. That's because it was so thick in this spot. So this is definitely going to take another application. This is not a one and done thing. This is something that's going to take a little bit of time. And even with all of the, the spraying we've done here, we still see a lot of green in this Bermuda. And if I don't take care of it, it will just rage back. So second application on the way. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. You can see me get the lawn looking better again, as well as continue to wipe out this Bermuda. And we'll see if it's worth it. Now we're wrapped up. And I'll see you in the lawn.